we did uh, two chakras so far. The number one was root chakra, muladhar. Second one, swadhisthan, chakra, sacral chakra. So we have created our roots stronger to serve, uh, uh, and established our basic right of survival. And in the second chakras, we learned about our passion and pleasure and our right to be what we are. And we are moving up in the third chakra now. The energy is flowing up. The location of this chakra is between the navel and the sternum bone, when, where the, this chest bone ends and the navel in between. In the center of these two points, the solar chakra is located. It is whoever is new. Uh, I would repeat that these chakras are not visible. They are ju just energy, uh, energy spinning there. So it is the spinning motion has given the name of chakra or the disc. So the location, this chakra is situated. The hormonal glands related to this chakra are um, pancreas and gallbladder. They, they, both of these organs secretes um, insulin and digestive enzymes. So we can clearly think that this chakra is all about the digestive system. And often we say that my gut feeling and whenever we are not confident, we often say, I feel butterfly in my stomach. So mind and gut are directly related. Uh, and that's why this chakra is, if this chakra is strong enough, we have the strength to execute what we want to, and we have the willpower to do whatever we want to. So in today's chakra, we will explore all of this. To begin with the activation of the chakra, we will, I will share a slide and so the uh, seed mantra of this chakra, whoever joined earlier, they must they may have heard that rum sound. So rum R U M rum is the seed mantra of this chakra and we will activate this chakra by focusing our eyes on this flame of the candle and just breathe easy at first Just receive what we receive at this point, looking at the candle. And then we make a mudra hand gesture. Left hand, we situate left hand at the solar chakra point. We just make a cup like um, gesture with the left palm. Right palm, fold all four fingers, the thumb stays up. It is a resembling or the replica of the flame burning within. As we can guess very easily, the color of this chakra is yellow. And this is the fire within. Fire is the element that changes things that can change things to a better version or that can change things to destruction. So let us ignite the fire within. Mm. 
Gazing at the candle flame, slowly close eyes. Imagine the pointed thumb up is my flame. I have right to be who I am and I have all the power and strength to do what I want to do, to execute and express my being on a higher level. And we release the mudra, relax hands on uh, thighs we will do a breath of fire practice to activate this chakra before we start the yoga yoga asana so to do this we we do the reverse of the usual yogic breath we inhale first we pull the belly in pull the belly in and then inhale forcefully exhale out If this is enough heat, just stay right here. If we need more heat, we can extend both hands up. and slowly relax hands down and feel what it feels at this moment right now. I feel the heat and I feel the energy activated in the solar chakra, Manipur chakra. Mani in the Sanskrit language literally translates to gems. The lustrous gems and the poor is a city so this area is the city of the jewels we own jewels we have as a being so we have to make this jewels shine through the internal fire so let's begin our yoga flow journey today first we will in the process of activation we will furthermore I will take the screen down. We will do one more breath, focusing on the solar plexus point. Inhale in and exhale, move, move the waist to the side, to the back, to the other side and forward. Continue. Now we reverse. This movement should happen from the waist, the middle portion of the body. And now we settle in the center. Let's begin our yoga flow journey now. So we begin standing. Today we begin in the standing pose. Circle sweep, slowly raise both hands up. Inhale and exhale down. Inhale, exhale. With the third breath in, inhale and raise on toes. Extended mountain pose, exhale down. Inhale again, exhale. Single hand, right hand, inhale 
and exhale, side bend. Inhale up, exhale, release. Other hand, inhale, exhale. Keep validating whatever you feel at this moment. Sometimes we might feel vulnerable or something different than usual. It is perfectly okay to be what it is right now. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale to the center. Exhale, other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, other side. And slowly come back to center, exhale, release both hands down. I believe you have all the props nearby the mats if we require any props. So we turn to the short side of the mat now. And circle sweep, inhale, both hands up. Straight posture and exhale. Circle sweep, exhale, fold from the hip crease, keeping the spine straight. Rest both palms wherever they can rest on the legs. Deep inhale in into the back of the lungs. Press the belly in, exhale further down, reach further down. One more breath. Inhale, breathe in the back of the lungs, exhale, pressing belly down in, and reach further down. Circle sweep, slow rise up, one vertebrae at a time. Both hands up into mountain pose and exhale slowly release down. One more time, inhale both hands up, circle sweep, exhale, fold. This time we soften the knees and reach all the way down and we step back with right leg to a comfortable stance and we rise into high lunge position. Back leg is straight, front knee is bent directly on top of the heel. Gaze straight ahead and slowly relax into this pose, breathe by breathe. On the next exhalation, slowly bring both hands down in the center of the body. Inhale one more time. And exhale, twist towards the leg in the front. Twist towards the leg in the front. might take some efforts in the center, center body, but that's where exactly we are working. So be patient, create the willpower and stay with it. Deep inhale in, while exhaling, try if a little bit more twisting is possible. With the next inhalation, slowly turn to the front. Inhale, both hands up again. Exhale, fold. And both legs to the front. Circle sweep. Inhale, both hands up. Coming into mountain pose one more time. And exhale, hands at heart. Now we will do this pose on the other side. 
circle sweep inhale both hands up exhale fold knee soft reach all the way down and step back with left leg this time right leg stays in front and circle sweep inhale come up again our focus is on the solar chakra manipur chakra we are shining our gems gaze straight ahead and deep inhale in Exhale, hands in the center of the body. Elbows pointing out. Inhale one more time. Exhale, twist towards the leg in the front. Slow, steady breaths in and out. Twists and turns that come in the real life situation brings our more efforts in, requires more efforts, and lifts our endurance. So remember, taking this experience of the mat on the mat, taking it off the mat in real life. Increase the endurance, stay in the twist. And slow inhale, back to center. Circle sweep, inhale, both hands up. Exhale, hinging from hips, fall forward. This time we will take both legs back. We come either into high plank, or feel free to take the modification, resting knees on the mat. Whoever is able, if it is available today, stay in the high plank for one, two, or three breaths. Increase the gut power. both knees on the mat. And this time we keep the pelvis up, bring the chest heart center to the mat and forehead to the mat and slowly rise into cobra pose. And slowly come back to mat, forehead on the mat. Let us rest both of our palms on the mat, in the front of the mat, and rest the forehead on top of it. So the next inhalation, bring both palms slightly below chest, both legs straight. Feel free to separate the legs if it feels too tight in the lower back. With the next inhalation, we lift high up for cobra pose. Gaze can be straight ahead. And if the neck is okay today, feel free to look up at the crease of wall and ceiling. And from here, we pull back hips towards the heels and come into child's pose. Inhale, pressing into the palms, lift the hips off, tuck toes, and send hips up towards the ceiling for downward facing dog. And let us pedal heels, bending other knee one at a time.
And now we stretch both heels at the same time. With the next inhalation, step forward with right leg. And circle sweep, slowly rise up. This is warrior one position. Front knee soft, and the gaze is straight ahead. Strong posture, warrior one. With the fierce fire pose. My fire is ignited and I'm ready to take action. With the exhalation, we fold forward, hinging from hips and the front leg is straight. Fold into Parshvakonasana, pyramid pose. We can use the prop here prop of the blocks. We can place the block outside of the front foot. We're going to do revolve triangle pose. So for that, we are into pyramid pose. Keeping spine straight. We are not rounding the spine. Gaze straight down below on the mat. Taking right hand on the right hip, left hand on the block, or if you're not using the block, simply outside of the right foot. From here, on the exhalation, slowly twist to that front leg side. This can be it for today for this revolve triangle pose. And maybe a little more is possible. I can raise hand up, right hand up towards the ceiling. Breathe easy. Slowly bring the right hand on the hip, soften the front knee, release the twist, and circle sweep. Slow rise up to warrior one. Breathe the big breaths in and out. Slowly bring both hands to the heart center. From here, step forward and simply change legs. Right leg goes to the back. Move your blocks accordingly. Band front knee, inhale into the warrior one on the other side now. Slow, steady breaths in and out. I'm so ready to take whatever it comes in my way. I have enough fire to deal with the difficulties and hurdles. If twists and turn comes, I will deal with it very smoothly, straightening the front leg. Exhale, fold into pyramid pose here. 
spine is straight. Left hand on left hip first. And when exhaling, twist from the waistline. Twist from the waistline to the left side. Bringing right hand outside of the left heel. And raise left hand up towards the sky. I have built my willpower so much that the sky is the limit for me. On exhalation, bring the hand back on the hip, soften the knee, and circle sweep slow, rise up to warrior one. Now slowly bringing both hands down at heart center and all the way to the mat. Coming into downward facing dog one more time. Pressing both heels firmly on the mat. Press chest towards thighs. And the head is hanging loose. In between both arms. Slowly bring both knees on the mat and extend both legs straight, coming into the prone position on the belly. We are going to explore some back bends now. First, we get all the way down for a constructive rest. Let the body get settled into this pose. So stack both palms, one on the other, and rest the forehead on the palms. Let the belly sink into the mat. As the belly is completely into the mat, we can uh, do uh, an experiment here with the breath. Deep inhale, pressing the diaphragm down into the belly, pressing into the mat. And slowly exhale, pressing belly in. This automatically rises the lower back up and strengthening the lower back muscle. This is the easiest way to do this. Now we pull both elbows close to the body as much as possible. We're going to practice Sphinx pose. Sphinx pose is Pulling both elbows as much close to the body as possible. Both glutes are relaxed, hips are relaxed, and ri rise from the upper body. Gaze is straight ahead. Both legs relaxed. At this point, if it is too much tightness or crunching in the lower back, feel free to widen the legs.
And slow, steady breaths in and out. On the exhalations, slowly sink into the bed, back into constructive rest. And relax everything. For the next pose, rise up, come to seated staff pose. Sitting with the legs stretched into the front. Now we will do board pose. Sitting straight. Both hands to the side of the hips. Spine straight, shoulders relaxed, and both toes are point feet. Uh, toes of the both feet are pointing towards the head, and let the legs get grounded as much as possible. Sorry, I think it was a Wi-Fi issue and meeting was lost. Hopefully you were not in the polls for all this time. So we find a sweet spot to balance and then one at a time, raise both legs up. Lower legs in the tabletop position. If it is okay to Release the hands, we do that. And if it is okay to extend both legs straight up, toes towards the head and gaze on the toes. And slowly release the pose, bringing legs down. And we swing legs back again to coming into prone position. We are going to do locust pose next. For that, we go all the way down, both hands on the side of the hips, palms facing down. Inhale and interlace fingers of both hands on the hips and turn shoulders outward. With the next inhalation, we lift the upper body up. Legs are rested on the mat. Slowly exhale, bring it down. Constructive rest pose. Take 
lift again one more time and come on the back into pine pose. We are going to do supine twist. So go all the way down onto the mat. Release both legs straight. Both hands on the side of the hips, palms facing down. Fold both legs one at a time. We are going to do a flow here. Low bridge and knees to chest. So pull both heels close to the hips as much as possible. Pressing into the palms, inhale and lift the pelvis up for a low bridge position, we are not raising too high. And exhale, bring it down. No breathing yet. Press both knees into the chest. Release the feet on the mat. And now inhale in, lift into low bridge. Exhale, knees into chest. One more time. Release both legs straight. For this supine twist, we extend both hands out to the side, straight out, palms facing up. We fold right leg and cross it. It, it is okay to keep it here. If it's possible to cross it over to the other side of the left leg. We can do that. Deep inhale in while exhaling, twisting from the middle, not just take the knee on the side, twist from the waistline and adjust the hips so that they stack on each other. One on the other. Slow breaths in and out. And if it is okay in the neck, turn the neck towards right shoulder. It is okay to close eyes. Either we can try to stretch and touch that knee to the floor or just do nothing and let the gravity work through. And slow inhale, bring it back to the center, adjust the hips and both legs straight. Let's do one full yogi breath here. Deep inhale into the belly. More breath into the chest and more breath into the top of the lungs. Exhale out in the reverse order. Let us fold last leg. Take whatever modification. Cross it over if it's possible. Deep inhale in and exhale, twist to the right side this time. Adjust the hips so they are not in the awkward position. They stack nicely and turn head towards left shoulder. And slow and steady breaths in and out.
Slow inhale back to the center. Bringing that knee and the center uncross and straighten out both legs. Hands on the side of the hips. Relax into this pose. Breathe by breathe, just sink into the mat for the next very important pose. Separate both legs and let the feet fall apart. Let me make sure heels, calves, and thighs are grounded. If you have uh, cushions or pillows ready or a bolster nearby, and if the lower back is sensitive, it is okay to slide a bolster under the knees. Hips grounded, lower back is grounded. Both shoulder blades are apart. Shoulders relaxed. both hands on the side of the hips, palms facing up to the sky, fingers loosely curled, and back of the palms, forearms, and arms are grounded. Feet separated, jaw separated. Feel heaviness in the earlobes. Knees relaxed, cheeks relaxed, forehead relaxed. Let the tongue go back to the throat and keep of the tongue loosely attached to the roof of the mouth. Gazing at a steady point with closed eyes. Let the breathe happen naturally. Let it go. Feel the immense support of Mother Earth. And we are sleeping in the lap of mother. Let the thoughts come and go without attaching to it. No self-talk. Let the thoughts vanish away by itself. This is my time with myself. Completely relax.
And slowly bring awareness back to body. And make small movements of small joints of fingers and toes. Keeping the eyes closed, turn on the favorite side in fetal pose. Slowly open eyes, come back to the easy seated pose. So we do more activation of I will share the screen. This is meditation for Balanced Manipura Chakra, the English name is Solar Chakra, the Fire Chakra. Gaze on the screen shared. I see beautiful sunrise in the sky. Or we can just bring in the memory of that early morning sunrise we have witnessed with open sky and open views. Probably at a seashore or high up on the mountains. I take myself to that spot one more time. The sun is rising slowly off the horizons. I see the first few sharp golden rays. Then slowly, within few seconds, a fiery ball rises up. I visualize that fiery ball in my solar plexus. This fiery ball is completely in my control. I can increase the fire when I want to. And when I feel I'm in excess of the fire, I can lower it, lower it. Just 
to get the strength in the solar fire chakra to move ahead to do what I want to do first I need to let go of what is holding me back I think of my weakness whatever weakness came on in my mind in the screen of my mind I hold it with a tongue and put it in the fire and burn it away each weaknesses that comes or that are hurdles in my way to execute my wills I name it write it hold it with a tongue to be safe and put it in the fire let it burn to ashes I feel so relieved of letting it go. But some things, some weaknesses are sticking with me for so long so that I may have to do this practice very often. But I do have the strength to grow and take it further from this point. Gaze on the screen with the fiery ball, that fire within me growing and shrinking. With the growing, I am developing the courage. And with the shrinking, I let go of what is not serving to me at this moment or at this point in my life. I've regained the power to execute my will. I have strength to do what I want to do. I have gotten rid of all my weaknesses. And our today's beautiful practice. We will do one mudra. This mudra is open both palms, attach the fire, thumb is a fire, and the pinky finger together, and let 
all of the other fingers touch. So just the tip of the tongues and the base of the palm is separate like this. The thumbs pointing at the point, the location of the solar chakra and the big finger pointing straight out. Separate all the fingers. Spread them in all direction. Lightly close eyes. I am a radiant fire and I'm spreading my light all around me in all direction. I am a warm fire that is balanced within me and I give support and take whoever comes joins the journey with me along the way to the right direction. Namaste. Thank you for joining today's practice. Wishing you all a wonderful, accomplishment fulfilled day ahead. Namaste.